All righty, welcome back. Let's get things rolling after this morning over in downtown Rather, Some people are driving around this morning, some clouds developing as well. We will hold on to the clouds across the region today as we'll be watching our next system moving in, and then we'll get some rain chances going as we head towards tomorrow. But for now, we have areas of dense fog in central and eastern Wisconsin this morning. Iron Mountain and also Marquette seeing some reduced visibilities as well. We'll see things improve throughout the daytime period, though, with regards to that. But the clouds will be sticking around as well. We will be under a mostly cloudy sky today. Notice though we have a few returns on the radar. This is pretty much some moisture up in parts of the atmosphere that might be falling from the clouds, but evaporating before it reaches the ground. We call that Virga though, so that is taking place this morning. But as we zoom things out, the bigger picture showing is pretty much this pipeline of moisture though, going from the southwest here, going up towards the north and east as well across the central plains, heading in our direction. Now will give us the opportunity for rain showers, especially as we head towards tomorrow. So futurecast moving forward though, a mostly cloudy sky will be common gusty winds get going later this afternoon as well especially later on tonight with a few sprinkles possible too but then we'll watch for more rain showers possible by thursday morning we'll get that round through and then a few more rounds possible of rain showers by thursday afternoon then by thursday night though the rain showers the rain showers will start to transition to a few flurries and throughout the day friday some on and off flurries that's all we're going to see there as for rain accumulations it won't be terrible though there might be a few spots you might notice some higher totals of around a quarter of an inch to maybe a half an inch in some spots with lesser opportunities farther down to the south. So not a lot of rain, but definitely some rainfall that we'll have to watch out for. But otherwise, though, gusty winds will also be on the way, reaching up to around 20 to even 25 miles per hour at times today. But by later on tonight, though, we'll be watching for more gusty winds getting up to 25, even 30 miles per hour. And that will also continue into the daytime tomorrow as well. But temperatures right now starting off in the lower 30s this morning, even middle 30s in Stevens Point, even middle 30s over in Phillips as well. So temperatures very warm compared to this time of the year already. As our average high temperature should be 24 degrees, we'll do upper 40s today and tomorrow. Some of you could do the lower 50s. Then upper 30s Friday, that high temperature will be hit early as temperatures fall into the lower to middle 30s during the afternoon and Saturday and beyond though upper 20s to lower 30s hopefully that's cool enough to get some of the snow making machines going for the ski resorts but either way they're a little bit of a cool down on the way so a forecast for today we'll say upper 40s and a mostly cloudy sky and a south wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour at times by tonight middle 30s mostly cloudy a few sprinkles cannot be ruled out and a southeast wind getting up to about 25 miles per hour and for tomorrow upper 40s mostly cloudy some rain showers cannot be ruled out either with a south wind gusty up to around 30 miles per hour at times. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven day forecast. By Friday, a few flurries are possible. Again, highs hit early in the upper 30s and then cooling off, otherwise mostly cloudy. Well, then Saturday and beyond, we are looking dry with a mostly cloudy sky and temperatures in the 20s and 30s.